Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Associate for Mad Money. Welcome back to Old Dog, New Blog. I'm here with my brother, Ross Kenneth Erkin, and the one and only Jim Kramer, where we continue to discuss new trends, new ideas, and beyond. Right, for people who have been left behind by me, or trying to catch up very quickly. Busy guys who know there's a subculture that's become the culture, not the subculture. Absolutely. And Jim, we know how into Twitter you are. Love you it. probably have a you know horde of minions somewhere on Wall Street manning your Twitter feed right now. I, I have one person who helps me, Adam. <laughs> He's terrific. But yeah, this is mine. I think people know that I actually take this thing to a, an illogical extreme. I try to tweet by 4.30 every AM every morning. <laughs> it's yes. ambitious, but it's also difficult to figure out what kind of impact you're actually having. I have no idea. Yeah. It's yeah. just a complete void. Yeah, so, so Ross and I sat down with Ergonomics 101, we decided to look at followers per tweet. How influential is each one of your tweets, even the 4.30 a.m. Uh, ones? I mean, a ratio of, of how many people are following me versus how many times I tweet. Exactly. Exactly. So we know you're familiar with PE multiples right. and valuations for stocks, but this is just as important in many ways. So for you, for example, you have tweeted 29,516 times right. as of last right. night. That's a lot of tweets. And you have six. No, I mean, is that like we versus what? It's a lot of tweets, just because it's a huge number of tweets. It's a, it's tonnage. It's yeah, a tonnage it's issue. Sure. It's a tonnage. It's a tonnage. <laughs> it's a metric. It's a yes, it's a number. So, and you have six hundred and twenty-eight thousand thirty-four followers as okay. of last night. All right. So your tweet, your followers per tweet ratio is. 21 times, which is pretty good. So for every tweet, you have 21 followers. 21.3. Okay. We're calling 3. this metric the Urkel in this ratio. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Urkel. It's, it's That's a little great. nerdy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very well, nerdy. We'll it's work, I like that. We'll okay. work up to the Urkel. Okay. So yeah. where do I fit in? So you actually, you know, it's interesting because we looked at Beyonce, for example, who I, I bought two tickets for uh, in the August, uh, Brooklyn when she's going to be in Brooklyn uh, last night exciting. at the charity auction for St. Anne's that you tweeted for Charity Buzz. <laughs> nice. Cost me a couple G's, Kaylee, but they're in row nine, <laughs> and you know maybe uh, the sweat uh, bathes me. Well, the <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. You, you could use it, maybe. <laughs> the fact that you Oda, I'll take some Oda Beyonce. She's the most important. Oh, it's sexist. <laughs> well, yeah, she obviously is the hot thing right no, now. OK, so what's her, what's so her issue? She has seven, over 7 million followers. Guess how many times she's tweeted? Uh, 5,000. Four times. So her followers wow. so per ratio is 1,840,000. So this is what we call an inflated multiple. There's no correlation between the number of tweets and the number of followers. She just has a brand. So okay. I think it's not really fair to compare a Jim Cramer to a Beyonce. It's you not. Say? You're out there promoting <laughs> news, picking okay, so stocks. Um, okay, let's say I am, am I uh, Colgate? Am I Intel? <laughs> am I, in other words, a market right. multiple say is uh, 14 right now. Right. Um, so I'm a higher valued, if you use, you know, the, I might be a higher valued person in terms of being able to build a brand. Right. I think versus she has a brand without Twitter. Exactly. In other words, the follower per tweet multiple is not the right metric for a Beyonce. Okay. Right. Or well, a Lady Gaga or a Justin Timberlake. But when you compare yourself to, for example, a Joseph Weisenthal on Business Insider. Yeah. Now he is, he, people listen to him. He's a great, you know, he has a great presence on Twitter, but he's tweeted 114,000 times. Now that's a lot of me? tweets. Successful. Okay, that's so he's tweeting in the forest. He's, yeah, he's tweeting, I'm walking down the hall. Now, right? he has, he, he's tweeting that the sun, oh, just a second, it's not as nice as I thought. I mean, he's tweeting <laughs> right. every thought now, that comes into his head. He has 40,000 followers, and all, you know, full, full I mean, that's disclosure. That's a ridiculously bad ratio. Full disclosure, I have 4,000, so he certainly has a following, but. Yeah, his ratio is 0.4 times. Quite a difference from your 22 times. Well, he but trades like Micron. Or let's Micron. look at uh, you know Rocco Pendola, who's who's at street the street. Uh, 23,469 tweets, followers 4,369. Mm. That's a 0.2 Urkel. <laughs> okay. You know Rocco is. He's, he's great. He's got to get more followers. Well, he's, not, he's not making as much of an impact with each tweet, as much as we like him. As much as we like him. So yeah. there's it. Okay, so like you have to. Most of the time. No, right. no, no, should no, you no, plan no, your no, ratio? No. Should right. you try to improve your ratio? Do you use fewer tweets and have better tweets? I don't know. This is an interesting. You know what this is? This is a self help. Metric this is a self-help metric. As much, not as much as stock. Metric. Just to run off a couple, a, sure, a couple <laughs> more. 
you know, Girls has been really big on HBO. Oh my God, I went to lunch for, with these people there because they went to say the woman run, went to St. Anne's Helena again, Dunham. the charity Helena bus. Dunham. And I want to, I want to lunch for my daughter with Helena Dunham. I mean, now, she says this is the most important person in the universe. She must have a great ratio. She's beating you. She's tweeted 5,700 times. She has 840,000 followers. So okay, she's on she, HBO. She's the best. She's, she's on HBO. She's Google. She's the gold Mindy Kaling, who I love. She's the Mindy Project, the spinoff from yeah, The Yeah, I love her. I, I love she's that. She's great. She has funny. 2 million followers and has only tweeted about 7,000 times. So she has a ratio of almost 300 times. 300 Urkels. I keep calling it 300 times because right, it right. needs to stop. Now, I know yeah, we keep so. going forever in the, the video. <laughs> people, right. people lose interest in videos at a certain point. I know that much about the video <laughs> to minute ratio. Where am I going to find this ratio? Is this going to be on Main Street? Where will I find the whole uh, yeah. your core dump? We'll have the list on Main Street, and we'll run through the metrics kind of present it out in this fashion to figure out what kind of impact everyone is making. And we'll right. keep updating. You I think update. Each Friday. Because Rocco's going to get a better ratio. R Rocco's Let's gonna, hope. We're going to hope that Joe and Rocco get better. We're going to hope they that They should we merge. Can, <laughs> they should right? merge. Right? I mean, like, they'd merge and be like, yeah, yeah. this is... Uh, they this, could this merge could at be a like Heinz and Buffett, you yeah. know? What I mean? Low multiple. Low multiple. Yeah. I should say, though, for the record, that I'm at a point four <laughs> Urkel, so it's it's not that great. I'm not that much better right. than We Rocco. have a lot of work to do, though we could say we're on the high upswing. Our, our projected followers are un underestimated. So yes, absolutely. Well, on Fridays, keep checking back. We're actually going to be look for some, looking at some of the more influential tweeters. For example, an Ezra Klein, Matt a Dave Iglesias. Weigel, Matt Iglesias, who does Money Blog. Right. We're going to come back to some of these guys that are, or girls, gals, that are tweeting out pretty regularly and getting good followers for that and coming and talking about some of their topics Dynamite. of Dynamite. discussion. I thought of a Dynamite Radio. Look, I'm learning. All right. We all got to learn. This is one where everybody has to learn. It's not just this old dog. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs>